Hey, what's up, everybody? Keith Rainville here, the Fat Yankee, my friends. So um, I'm going to show you guys something today that is extremely important and that has been a significant um, uh, reason for debate uh, inside the group and a lot of the jerky groups. Um, and we got folks out there that, you know, believe that certain temperatures um, are right for safety. And, and, and then, uh, you know, they're, they're telling people that these certain temperatures may be safe. And I want to just kind of do a video today. If you see on my screen, I want to show you in writing, um, the document that I have here, and I'm going to put this in the file. This is the USDA, uh, Department of Agriculture, food safety as it, um, as it relates to jerky. Okay. And this is something that a lot of folks, when they read this, they're really missing. Um, so it's so important that um, we take this uh, and uh, this video here uh, and, and really, you know, take this document, look at it. I'm going to leave it in the file section of certain groups here. I'm going to leave it on my YouTube channel. But here's what I want you to take a look at, okay? Uh, so why is temperature important when making jerky, Okay. And this is why I always tell everyone to heat the jerky up into an internal temperature of 160 and 165. Um, there are people out there that will say that they, you can heat up the, um, the jerky to an internal temperature of 145 uh, for a certain amount of minutes. And I want to tell you why that is not correct, okay? So first of all, again, this is from the USDA. Uh, uh, it says after heating the jerky to 160 to 165 degrees uh, Fahrenheit and maintaining uh, afterwards in a dehydrated temperature of 130 to 140 uh, to complete the drying process, okay? So it is extremely important um, to kill uh, any salmonella or E. coli um, that you, uh, that you uh, heat that internal temperature. As you see, the uh, USDA hotline currently recommendation uh, for jerky safety is to heat the meat at 160 uh, degrees Fahrenheit, um, and that is uh, for poultry and, and beef, okay? So now, here is what I want to show you where other folks have uh, this, uh, this significant um, difference in temperature of 145 and why they think that's good, and I'm going to tell you and explain why that is is not good well first of all it's in writing uh, that you you know you should heat the meat um to 160 degrees but if you look at the bottom of this page on page two here um this is extremely important uh, actually let me go here uh let me see okay so what happens when you heat um the raw meat uh to uh, anything less than 160 degrees. Uh, when, if you think you're treating it at, uh, at 145, what's happening is that jerky, uh, that meat is building up a uh, resistance, okay? So right at the bottom of this page two, in the jerky study, some samples uh, showed total bacteria destruction and other samples showed some bacteria survival uh, when heating it um, at this 145 degrees, especially jerky made with ground beef. Further experiments with lab um, inoculated venison uh, showed that pathogens E. coli should survive drying times of up to 10 hours at temperatures of up to 145 degrees, okay? See, what happens is when you actually uh, you put prolong um, a temperature at a low temperature um, and you don't kill any bacteria by getting it to 160 or 165 what happens is is you can actually make that that uh, e coli or that pathogen stronger because what it does is it becomes resistant um to that 145 degree temperature and that's why uh it uh, it becomes resistant over to that temperature over a period of time so that's why it's so important to bring your jerky internal temperature to 160 degrees. It here, is here in black and white, my friends. And you can read this. Um, this is in the Beef Jerky Lovers and Makers group. I'm gonna put this in, and I'm gonna leave this in the, um, the Beef 
uh, Jerky Makers Group, uh, my group with a lot of my students in it. This is and this is also inside my course, but this is why it is so important. Again, this is on page two to um, bring your jerky to an internal temperature of 160 degrees. Okay, this will ensure that you have killed any uh, pathogens or bacteria inside the jerky. Um, you know, it, it's a chance that you're taking with people out there uh, getting uh, getting sick. And uh, I, for me, it's just the chance that I wouldn't want to take. And that's why for throughout my jerky um, experience and career of making it, we always did the internal temperature of 160 degrees, let alone I was also told by a doctor at the Department of Agriculture that that was a, a standard. Okay. So folks, I hope you got something out of this video. Um, again, I'm going to post this in the file section of the Beef Jerky Lovers and Makers group, as well as my personal group, uh, Beef Jerky Makers on Facebook. Okay. So page two, very important. Thanks for watching, everyone.